ever wondered about the creamy aromatic delight that is sabudana kheer? This luscious sweet pudding-like dish hailing from India is sure to capture your heart and tantalize your taste buds. So buckle up as we embark on a culinary journey to create this delectable dessert. Firstly, gather half a cup of sabudana, which are tapioca pearls, 4 cups of milk and half a cup of sugar. You can adjust the sugar to your taste. Also, you'll need 4 to 5 green cardamom pods, a pinch of saffron strands, 2 tablespoons of chopped nuts, almonds, cashews, pistachios, and a tablespoon of ghee, clarified butter. Now let's start by rinsing the sabudana under cold water until the water runs clear. Then soak the sabudana in enough water to cover them for about 2 hours. This will help soften them and make them easier to cook. After the sabudana have soaked, drain the water and set them aside. In a large saucepan, heat the ghee over medium heat. Once the ghee is melted, add the soaked sabudana and sauté them for a few minutes until they turn translucent. Next, add the milk to the saucepan and bring it to a gentle boil. Reduce the heat to low and let the sabudana cook in the milk, stirring occasionally, for about 15-20 minutes or until they become soft and translucent. While the sabudana are cooking, crush the green cardamom pods in a mortar and pestle to release their flavor. Add the crushed cardamom and saffron strands to the saucepan and mix well. Now it's time to add the sugar. Gradually add the sugar to the saucepan, stirring continuously until it dissolves completely. Let the kia simmer for another 5 minutes to allow the flavors to melt together. Finally, turn off the heat and garnish the sabudana kia with the chopped nuts. You can also add a few strands of saffron on top for an extra touch of elegance. Serve the sabudana kheer warm or chilled, according to your preference. It makes for a delightful dessert on its own or can be enjoyed with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So, go ahead and indulge in this heavenly treat. Start by washing the sabudana. Rinse them in water until it runs clear. Then soak them in enough water to cover for at least 2-3 to three hours or better yet, overnight. They will swell up and become soft, ready for the next step. While the sabudana is soaking, prepare the flavor enhancers. Crush the cardamom pods and powder the seeds. Soak the saffron strands in a tablespoon of warm milk. These will add a rich aroma and color to the kheer. Next, cook the sabudana. Heat a pan, add the soaked sabudana along with any leftover water and cook on medium heat. Stir occasionally to prevent sticking. After about 10 to 12 minutes, the sabudana will turn translucent and soft. Once cooked, set them aside. Now, it's time to prepare the kheer. In a separate heavy-bottomed pan, bring the milk to a boil. Once boiling, reduce the heat to medium-low and simmer the milk, letting it reduce to about three-fourths of its original quantity. Stir in the cooked sabudana and add the sugar. Continue to simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes, stirring frequently to prevent sticking. Now comes the exciting part. Add the powdered cardamom and mix well. Pour in the saffron-infused milk and stir gently. This will give the kheer a lovely aroma and color. For the final touches, heat ghee in a small pan and fry the chopped nuts until they turn golden brown. Garnish your sabudana kheer with these fried nuts. Allow the kheer to cool down to room temperature. You can serve it chilled or at room temperature depending on your preference. And voila, your delicious sabudana kheer is ready. It's a delightful dessert that's perfect for special occasions or as a sweet treat anytime. Remember the key to a great sabudana kheer lies in its unique flavors. The creamy texture of sabudana, the aromatic cardamom, the rich saffron and crunchy nuts all combine to create a dessert that is truly out of this world. So why wait? Give this recipe a try and immerse yourself in the rich, creamy goodness of Sabudana Kheer. And for more finger-licking recipes, visit www.indianrecipebook.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos to support us. Happy cooking!